this uh, computer monitor, one of those really big ones, so maybe we can get some useful things out of there. I want to see uh, how, uh, what the voltage rating is and everything for the transformer on here. Um, I gotta say, I've kind of noticed that you people haven't been really commenting or uh, giving us very good ratings as far as we could so just uh, out of node. Thanks helping with that. Anyways, back on topic. Um, so we're going to take this thing apart and see what we get out of it. We're taking this top off. Oh, that's what the heck is that? Okay. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Mm, your job. This is what we got out of it. See that suction cup right there? That's where you have to discharge, and we'll do that soon. Uh, got a whole bunch of other components down there on the search board. We'll show you that later. Ooh, there's the inverter. Yay. Um. You can see the coils. Yep. So, you got this big flipping thing, and whatever's in that box, and we'll find all that out later. I'll show you how to very simply discharge it. You see, we have this plug here that's uh, attached to the ground here. Um, so yeah, that's attached to the ground there. And you can see how he's doing this here, move the plug. There's those two little metal prongs right there. Now, that goes between this suction cup thingy here, right by the red thing. You, all you have to do is lift that up with the uh, with a pair of pliers, put the plug between there, and then there you go. You've just discharged it. As you can see here, yeah. Uh, if you don't want to do that, take the plug off. You can just do this. Connects the circuit, discharges it. So, now it's safe to go into and take stuff apart. I'm going to give an overview of some of the thoughts. Right here you can see a transistor. Uh, this metal thing here is a heat sink. You can see another one right there and another one and right there. Um, okay, what else do we have here? So we've got the capacitors, like the one right there, and the main one that's right there. That's the one that attaches to the suction tube, which I have right here. Um, got some more capacitors. Uh, you have your inverter right here that, uh, if you don't know, converts DC to AC. Pliers. Alright, pliers. Pliers. And, uh, that's it for now. Except for this. This would be a resistor. A uh, smaller er, transistor. And here's a diode. Have any questions with any of those? Do just kind of asking. There's um, two holes around here, right around here, uh, right there. Uh, that we took some screws off. So now we can take this big board off. Um, have any bleeding. So now we're uh, before we're gonna do that, we're gonna take these off. These just come off. Just twist it. Off. Wow. They come off that one. Yes, they do. Uh, that one didn't come off so well. Obviously. And that one came off. Here's all this. Oh yeah. Also, don't take this uh, back part off around here. It's uh. Got a warning label saying yeah. caution radiation. Oh, X-ray radiation. Yeah, so radiation. don't take that off. Yeah. I uh, screwed the thing, so here's the uh, box that went on top of here. Box. Yes, now uh, you can take this, if you watch, you can take the uh, circuit board off pretty easily. Except for, except for these wires right here that we forgot to take up. Hold on. All right, uh, I can show up. All right, um, now as you can see here, you can just take the circuit board off pretty easily. Got lots of wires all over the place. Tell it out now. Oh, what's keeping it in now? Jeez. Oh, that figures. Yeah, you got a lot of these weird silvery wires, like right here. You can see that right there. These are a pain. There we go. Anyway, so now you got the circuit board out. Still attached by some colorful rainbow colliers. 
Yeah, so we're going to be taking those out. Oh, we took that off. So we're down to some of the other components. You have an LED right here. You have a button right here. Um, probably where the monitor turn on switch was. It's probably a probably, green LED yeah. or a white LED with the green screen. That explain why it's got uh, four buttons here. You can see that. Yeah, um, then you have some more uh, capacitors, transformer, resistor, um, some weak gooey stuff, pin, and a uh, voltage regulator. Alright, then you have a ceramic capacitor there. There are more resistors, diode, transistor, everything that we said before. Uh, I don't think there's anything new here, so... Got another heat sink here. You can see, um... I'm not quite sure what these things are right here. I've got a few of them. Uh, you have, a you have the plug input right here. You have, um, I don't know what this is either, but it looks like some kind of inverter or something. More capacitors there. Um, and so yeah, that's about it. Most of the board. We got some of uh, these things. We have all these like split up and little things. Some big, big resistors. These things are pretty big, yeah. Pretty interesting. Um big capacitor here this is a 40 volt oh 150 uh, millifarad um, took some of the things off on the transistors if any of you still watching that'd be great um, yeah this is not a capacitor this is actually the transformer right here it's uh, this will give about what does it say Oh, it doesn't say anything. Well, anyways, this is a uh, 20,000 volt capacitors. So, pretty strong. This goes over the uh, tube. By the way, the Myro is a CRT, obviously. Guess if you're watching that, you should probably already know that. Anyway, so this would go over the tube. I'm uh, about to show you uh, what it looks like when the tube's off. It's basically a big glass tube. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. It started like an EX or something. Anyway, so going through this mess of a garage, come along here into our crap box. And here is where we put the uh, and here it is. See, it's just this big tube. Look down there. You got this here. And it just kind of goes on the tube. Don't, like, but again, don't take it off. You're gonna get, it's radioactive. 